Cyclocross Magazine is here with V.L. Anderson, all the way in Belgium. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna be talking about her race and where she's going from here. So, tell us, how did you see your race at, at Worlds? Worlds? Um, you know, I think the best part of the day for me is that I wasn't nervous. <laughs> Somehow, I just had a really great mindset, and I just kind of executed my plan. I went out there and raced my best race, and uh, you know, I. I didn't really run into any trouble, I just had a clean race and uh, I really felt like I had a good effort and just enjoyed myself and it's just kind of the year of personal victories for me, thinking about Worlds the previous year and how kind of in rough mental shape I was in, so to sort of get out at Worlds and, and just be happy, it's a huge personal victory. Wow. And what is the difference? How, why the mental change? How did you come across that? Um, well, I think that's, I think why is a really tough question because I think we all wonder why we kind of psych ourselves out or, or struggle with the mental side of the sport, um, but uh, last season I definitely struggled and I uh, had to take a lot of time this summer to sort of work through some things and kind of gain a new perspective. Um, and really I think it comes down to that just a new perspective, just appreciating the present moment instead of being kind of stuck in between the future and the past kind of thing. So. I think I've just learned a lot, and this year has been a huge growing year for me. And now with the new L. Anderson moving forward, what are your plans for the rest of the season? Do you plan on racing it out here? Or? Yeah, so I you know, started the season off late. It started in November, um, so I was almost halfway through the cross season. So I had in the back of my mind since the beginning that I wanted to race all the way to the end of February in Belgium, kind of finish out the year here. So I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited to keep racing here for another month. Um, and then sort of start looking for next year. And speaking of next year, what are your plans for next year? <laughs> Conquer the world again or? I mean, I really don't know. This is the time to figure it out. Um, what I do know is I love racing over here. I love racing in Europe. I love spending as much time over here as I possibly can. So I'm gonna try to find a good situation for myself next year. Maybe it's the same, maybe it's different, but I'm in the process of figuring that out now. Regarding teams mm -hmm. and stuff like teams, that? Yeah. So this year, you know, it's really great. I had amazing support from Graham, amazing support from USA Cycling um, to really salvage a season that was pretty unpredictable for me. I didn't know how it was going to turn out. So really, really grateful that, that those sponsors and organizations really stepped up to help me. Um, I'm just not sure how it's going to shake out next year. Well, good. We look forward to seeing what happens. Thanks so much for your time. Cyclocross Magazine signing out.